<laughs> That's what we call big ears. Hi everyone, it's me again. And we're still at the same field because check this out. <laughs> it's a mini paraglider and it's Tom again. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look at this. It's like everything mini. Little instead of rods, we have like little bits of plastic to keep the airfoil shape. Single skin attachment points. I might, I might get in, get into this. <laughs> How what what size do you say this was, Tom? Uh, it's about two point four meter wingspan. So I think it's about one point one meter squared. Right. Area. Okay. And did you make the paramotor yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So it's all made out of three D printed parts and CNC side plates out of aluminium. Okay. And what are the um, what are the features? I see you have FPV on it. Yeah, yeah, I've got an FPV system up here. So, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's first person view where it transmits this camera footage down to a pair of goggles so I can mm -hmm. fly as if I'm fly sitting, as if you're there. sitting there. Yeah. yeah, and then it's got a pan server, server as well. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's a receiver, battery, speed controller, and motor. Yeah. Do you have. Um, do you have any issues with torque steering? Because I've heard that's a thing with paramotors in general where because of the propeller spinning, it wants to mm. twist one way or the other. Uh, well, I have this here, which actually has counter torque. All and right. Like, uh, if, you look, if you video from the back side, yeah, yeah. you can see it has a slight curve to it. So as the air flows through it, twists it the other way. Right. And it, no, I can jam the throttle up and down and it doesn't seem to do anything. Right. So out of curiosity, how do you, how is the, how the control set up on this? Uh, so this is a throttle here. Like yeah. And then on this side, it controls basically the two arms. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can do left and right and it pulls each brake. Mm -hmm. And then I also have it set up. So if I move this down, it pulls both, do both brakes. Yeah. Yeah. So I can pull down and move to the side. Yeah. Um, but then I also have a three position switch here so I can flick it like that and then like that so depending on the flying conditions okay um, I usually fly with it in the middle position yeah yeah so a little bit of back pressure but not yeah not loads and then if I'm going into the wind and I'm not doing anything crazy I'd go like that yeah, yeah. and then it just flies penetrates the wind a bit better C cool yeah. <laughs> well we uh, well we don't know if this is gonna work because as we've seen from the previous video with the uh, with a full size kiting the full size wings it is very turbulent because we're in the lee of all of these trees but uh, so Tom doesn't seem too bothered about crashing it so uh, we'll see if you can build something you can always rebuild something I suppose this is actually a lot bigger than I expect this is the full-size person next to it <laughs> <laughs> and you've got you had to put some uh, nose weight on it yeah so the um, there's two four cell 1800 milliamp batteries they, they weigh about 220 grams each okay then I've also got 240 grams of lead so the whole thing I think weighs about one and a half kilos 1.4 kilos yeah. yeah okay so uh, but I've, I've recently put a bigger motor on it so it can handle the weight fine yeah, yeah. It looks just as fiddly as a regular paraglider. Yeah, it's a, it's a nightmare. Basically, what you're trying to do is like trying to launch a paraglider without touching the brakes. Yeah. It's like everything has to be perfect. That's basically a forward launch and that's how forward, why forward launches are so hard. Gonna go downwind really fast. Yeah. I don't know how to stop that. We need to talk to BGD, see if they can give us some tips on design <laughs> on designing. 
constantly folding in this wing. It looks like it's, yeah, pulling the A's on the wingtips rather than the brakes. Unless the brakes are too short on the tips. When there's no wind, it's perfect. But it's just in the wind, it's just... Come on, come on, come on! Oh. Right. If, if I just if I fly it like low like this, it doesn't do it for some reason. Yeah, that does happen in normal paragliders, which is the more, uh, whoops. So tricky. A bit gusty. Yeah, feel free to wait until you're happy. <laughs> you're so, so, you're so impatient. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Textbook. That's not textbook turbulence there. Oh. It, it it does it just like a normal paraglider, except normal paraglider reinflates after the first collapse. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's a lot calmer here. <laughs> Right, that was just a <laughs> quick little uh, demonstration. I've not never seen one of these before. Probably most of you haven't. And if you want to see more stuff like this, again, just check uh, Tom's channel. He has all kinds of crazy stuff like this. is actually quite tame <laughs> for yeah, what you do. This is what I do to relax. Actually, for people that don't know your channel, how would you describe it? I hate it when people ask me this. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Check it out. And as always, thanks to Tom. Huge thanks coming out to play with paragliders no, and mini paragliders. <laughs> um, thanks to all these people on Patreon for supporting the, the, the channel and this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>